हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द ब्रेड फर्स्ट सर्च ऑफ अ बाइनरी ट्री सो दैट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज बी एफ एस ऑफ अ बाइनरी ट्री सो लेट सी वॉट इज द बी एफ एस ऑफ दिस बाइनरी ट्री सी बी एफ एस इज सिमिलर टू द लेवल ऑर्डर ट्रैवर्सल मीन्स यू हैव टू जस्ट राइट ईच लेवल ऑफ द बाइनरी ट्री सो लेट्स राइट इट so the bfs for this binary tree is a the first level then bc the second level then defg fg and hijkl so this is the bfs of this binary tree so now you can see bfs represents the each level of the binary tree in a single line so now how to find out the bfs of any binary tree as this is a small binary tree you can say the bfs of this binary tree by just looking at the levels but if it is a huge binary tree then you need a program for that you need a set of steps so these are the steps for finding out the bfs of any binary tree so for the algorithm for bfs we are going to use a data structure which is called as q so this is the q data structure so i will just make the q okay now let's read the steps so the first step is nq the root c first we will take a variable p which will point to the root of the q so we have to nq that root okay so this is the root of this binary tree which is passed to this function suppose as a parameter so the root of the binary tree is a so nq that root okay now the second step is the while loop while the queue is not empty see here now the queue is not empty so you have to first dequeue okay so now you have to dequeue a and your variable p will point to the dequeued element from the queue okay so p points to a now which is the case before dequeuing also okay see in the next iteration of the while loop you will be crystal clear about these steps for the first iteration let's just follow the steps okay now print p so you have to print the data of p so the data is a okay so that is printed in the output now let's follow the next step see here if p points left then nq the left child and if p points right then nq the right child of p so what does this mean this is the step which differentiates bfs from dfs so in bfs we visit both children at a time means if we are at a then we will nq both children before going to the next iteration okay means for each iteration whatever the node p is pointing to we will nq both children of that node right now p is pointing to a so in this iteration we will nq both its children that is left child and right child so b and c let's nq them b and c so this is the step first nq left child and then nq right child before nqing just check whether that node that is p has the left child and whether that node p has the right child that is just a checking condition now let's go to the next iteration okay in this iteration you will be clear with the steps now while q is not empty see q is not empty there is b and c in the q 
so go inside the first step is to dq okay so dq from the q so i dq so p is now pointing to b okay the dq element is b so p is pointing to b now print p so you have to print b now the data of p is b now so that is the second step now the third and important step you have to enqueue both child of p right now p is pointing to b so let's check what are two children of b left child is d and right child is e so d and e this iteration is over now as we have enqueued both children of the current node so now let's go to the next iteration again q is not empty then dq so now p is pointing to c okay then print that node so that is c nq both its children so for c left child and right child are f and g so nq them now you just have to remember those three steps we don't need to look at the code just follow those three steps so next iteration what is the first step it is to dq so dq element is d so p is pointing to d now print that node that is d now nq both its children so d has left child h and right child i so nq h and i okay now after enqueuing h and i let's go to the next iteration what is the first step is to dq so dq from the queue now the dq element is e okay so print e then go for enqueuing two children of e so let's check here if p has left child c p is pointing to e now okay currently p is pointing to e if p points left but p does not have left child so this if condition is not satisfied go to next if condition if p points right but p does not have right child so this if condition is also not satisfied so we don't have anything to enqueue in this iteration let's go to the next iteration now in the next iteration the first step is to dq so dq now p is pointing to f okay so print f that is the second step now check for left and right child of f so left child is j and right child is k so j and k okay now after enqueuing both children let's go to the next iteration so the first step is to dq now so p is pointing to g so print that after printing check for the two children so whether p has left child no so if p points left does not satisfy now c p is now pointing to g so p has left child no so it does not satisfy this and we go to the right child so if p has right child yes it has right child so enqueue that right child and that right child is l so we enqueue l okay now after this iteration let's go to the next iteration while q is not empty q is not yet empty so go to the first step so dq we dequeued the element so that element is h okay so print that element so we have printed h now after printing h check for left and right child of h so h does not have left or right child so nothing to enqueue let's go to the next iteration now again dq so now p is pointing to i print that i check for left and right child of i nothing to enqueue again go to the next iteration dq so now the next element is j so print j check for left and right child of j there is nothing to enqueue so go to the next iteration and dq 
so the next dequeued element is k so print that k and check for left and right child so nothing to nq now let's go to the next iteration so dq so dequeued element is l so p is pointing to l now print l okay and check for left and right child of l there is nothing so nothing to nq now let's go to the next iteration now check for q is not empty see every element is dequeued now this q is empty so as the q is empty this condition is not satisfied so we cannot go inside this while loop so we come out of this function that means we have completed the printing of the bfs for this binary tree so this is how the code for bfs works so you can get the working code on this link that is github slash vivekanand 44 this is a github link on this link you can get the working code hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you